Hey! As we know, Tezos blockchain is living well for two years and more and more developers are coming into the ecosystem every day to create cool and useful tools, applications and services that in one way or another are based on data from Tezos blockchain. But where do they get this data? There are three ways. RPC API, Explorer API or Blockchain Indexer. RPC API is handy because it comes with a node. You can just run a node and use it. Moreover, you can use public node. But the problem is that it's quite slow and doesn't have most of the required endpoints. For example, to get an operation by its hash. So, for complex applications, the RPC API is often just not suitable. Explorer APIs offer a lot of useful data in high speed. However, not all explorers offer free API, especially for commercial use. Not always these explorers are a reliable solution, and uptime of your application directly depends on uptime of the explorer. But there are those 10% for from having full control over the entire infrastructure is a critical requirement. And today, we will tell you how to set up your own Tezos blockchain indexer and have full control access to data and not to depend on third-party services. We'll review the Tizikiti indexer, one of the flagship products of Baking Bad. Tizikiti is an advanced Tezos blockchain indexer with built-in performant API. Currently, it is one of the most reliable and stable open source indexer in Tezos. You can find the link into the GitHub repository below. And don't forget to put a star if you like it. So, now let's see how to easily set up your own instance of Tizikiti indexer and API within just 15 minutes using Docker. We will need git, make, docker and docker compose packages to be installed to run Tizikiti. If you have all these packages installed, we are ready to start. First, clone Tizikiti repository. This is a public open developing repository, so don't hesitate to create issues or feature requests. Move to Tizikiti directory and run make init. Run this command just once to init database from the latest snapshot. During initialization, the latest database snapshot is downloaded. If the database already exists, it is deleted and created anew. After that, the database is restored from the downloaded snapshot. When the database is initialized, the latest images of the Tizikiti indexer and API are downloaded from the Docker Hub. Usually, it takes around 1 minute to download the latest database snapshot and around 10 minutes to restore the database from it. Of course, it depends on internet connection and your hardware setup. When initialization is done, we are ready to start our indexer and API service. That's it, just check that everything is good. Ah yeah, starting API takes some time for cache initialization. So we actually need to wait a few seconds. Let's try now. Yeah, everything's fine. We've got the head and can check the indexer synchronization status. From now, our indexer and API are working. Blocks are synchronizing and you can easily access the API or the database directly. To stop the service, just run make stop command. It will stop all using Docker containers. That's it. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will show how to build Tizikiti indexer and API from sources.